G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and we're down at the quail pen again. This time we've got a quail that's in a bit of distress. It needs a little bit of saving and TLC. So let's get into it. Rightio, so what's happened is my son's come down and he's gone to collect the chicken eggs. He's looked through the quail pen because what we like to do is when we uh, just come down for routine tasks, we check over the birds because sometimes just by looking, you can tell, oh, well, not sometimes, most of the time, just by looking at your flock, you can tell if there's something wrong with one of the birds. They're either not moving like they should be or they're staying still, or they're looking sick, or they're, you know. So, uh, he's had a look through the quail pen and saw that one of the quail just isn't walking quite right, and it's an obvious thing to spot. So let's go in and have an investigate, and uh, see if we can find the problem out and fix it up. Okay, now I know it's one of these white ones. I think it might be this one here, sort of cowering there underneath the drinker. Obviously, you probably can't, can't walk much, and uh, we need to find the problem out. It can't even run away from me. Oh, look at this. Yep. Okay, she's hogtied with some string that's got around her. Now, obviously she's not gonna be able to walk much. So I'm gonna be able to, yeah, she can sort of hobble around. Now, the cause of this is an unfortunate side effect from sometimes this type of mulch. The straw, it's organic and it's supposed to be weed free and item free and plastic free and all that but you know at the end of the day that's bullshit sometimes what happens is when the machinery goes through and chops up the hay it can also grab hold of string and munge that string up and make it really fine it's hard to spot and so when you sprinkle that around you sprinkle the straw around What happens is some of this fine clumps come out and you don't see it and it gets caught in their feet. And of course this can this can cause it not only happens for quail but it can happen for chickens as well. And this can cause terrible crippling and it's even an even amputation of the toes. So what I've got to do now is is cut this off. So uh I'll just get prepared and I'll show you how I fix this up. Okay, it's a male and here's a close-up. Doesn't look too great. There's no way this bird is going to do very well with this around its feet. So I need to cut this string off. I find like a small scissors or even a Stanley knife, a box cutter, with a nice little sharp point is one of the best ways to, to do this job. And you've got to hold the bird down securely. And I'll just cut it straight between there for now. So at least the two feet are free. And now you've got to pick underneath, nice and carefully, hold the bird nice and secure and pick underneath the string and you've got a nice sharp Stanley knife, cut it through.
course if the bird shakes you just move the, move the knife away and uh, try to unravel it as best you can And that's one foot done. Now this toe here, this toe, it might actually eventually fall off, the toe and toenail or just the, the tip of it. The bird will still survive that and he'll get along fine. Now I'll do the other foot and I'll just show you what I mean by getting underneath. You can see how this can really wrap around and so you just got to be careful to see where it's wrapped around and then put the knife gently underneath that's why one of these box cutters works so well for this type of treatment I've done this several times before I like to make sure if I see of course any string around the place or in the mulch I pick it up but sometimes you just miss it and this is what happens the unlucky bird gets hold of it and gets wrapped around its feet before you know it it's tangled in a terrible mess okay now I'll make sure that this string here gets put in the bloody bin This fella here, his feet aren't the best, but they will. He will recover. I'm confident of that. These uh, these these cuts and these indentations from the string that'll heal up. And uh, like I said, if his, his thumb or, he, or this toe doesn't, uh, doesn't survive well then these will be alright he'll still be able to get around a lot better than he, than he was and he'll still survive he'll take a while to catch his breath because he's been fighting me to try to get free but within a few days he's going to recover and he'll be uh, fine well there you have it, there's my bit of operating on one of my male quails. It's unfortunate, um, it's not nice is it, when they get this type of twine caught around their feet. It annoys me and angers me that, you know, a product that's supposed to be totally organic and free from any other materials happens to get string like this caught up in it. If you catch it and don't let it go too long and you keep an eye on your flock, and you see if there's a bird that doesn't look quite right because quails they run everywhere and they're always usually fairly active just like chickens and, and other poultry and if you see one that's oh you know walking funny uh, staying still for a long period of time and that type of thing sitting uh, and not eating or drinking much well then it's it's time to have a, a close look at that bird and make sure there's nothing terribly wrong with it yeah, they can have their off days any type of poultry uh, and that's normal but it's good if you can pick up this type of issue straight away uh, and then deal with it now, I guess if I would have left it on its feet I both the feet could have eventually the the blood supply could have got cut off and then you have to really euthanize that bird but if it loses a toe or a toenail or something like that uh, that's not a real problem. A, the bird will recover and it's, it's, it's probably going over the top to euthanize it out of kindness in inverted commas. You're probably better off letting it live and get over that. You know, you could use a little bit of disinfectant and, and uh, help the wound a bit. Um, but generally, if you just keep an eye on that bird, they'll heal up nicely by themselves without anything else you can give it a bit of a wash off and a bit of poop around the feet put them in a bit of warm water and that can uh, 
get rid of those things as well and just clean out the wound or if there is a, a abrasion or something like that from the twine. But overall they will get over it themselves and uh, before long they'll be running around, especially that male, a nice big fat um, white male A&M cross. He'll be after the girls in, the, in, in no, no worries, that's for, for sure, in, in no period of time, that's for sure. Alright, well thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.